Good evening folks, welcome along to the vlog. I have a funny feeling the white balance is going to be out on this one for a little bit, but we can live with it. So what I've got in my hand here is a bottle of vacant gesture sent to us by none other than Homebrew Griffo. That's right, it's from Cal. And uh, it's his recipe, so we're going to do a review on video to see how close he got to the real thing. And uh, at the same time, I'm cooking tonight, so what I'm going to do is some salt and pepper mix while we drink this beer. Smells like the vacant. Just take this pan off the heat a minute, it's going to get too hot. That's probably the closest one I've had yet. Well, duck a fuck, my friend. There's just something off on it. I don't mean flavour wise. Something that makes it not quite the vacant. Could be just a little low on bitterness, maybe. Might need to up it by one or two IBUs. But mine fluctuates as well, quite frankly. That's a bloody good beer, mate. I'm going to enjoy drinking that while we do this. So, I've got some king prawns here. I'm going to be doing some salt and pepper prawns on another video. But in order to do that, you need a proprietary salt and pepper mix. I store mine in this old honey jar here. S&P mix. But, alas, we have run out. So, in order to make the salt and pepper mix, you need salt. You need sugar, you need MSG, and you need Chinese five spice powder. It's here. That's this little beauty. There's not much of it left actually. So what we need to do is measure out the ingredients. I'm sorry for walking off the camera. I know it's not very professional. So what we're going to be doing is roasting the salt. So we need three spoons of salt. I'll just uh, pan down a little bit here so you can see this. We need three spoons of salt. A oh, bit of smoke off that baby. For every one spoon of the other ingredients, I'll just kill that heat for a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't worry, this will do lots and lots and lots of dishes. So there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook this salt until it starts to go brown. We don't want to burn it by any means until it starts to go brown. While that happens, we'll drink a bit more of Kelv's vacant gesture. Mm. The carbonation is pretty good as well because he's carbonated it uh, and bottled from the keg. I believe, 1036, 26 IBUs, bottled from the keg, final gravity 1.000, ah, that's probably why it tastes a little bit, yeah, it's, it's maybe not, um, not unbitter, what's the word I'm looking for, maybe it is bitter enough, god, get your words out man, maybe it is bitter enough, but that extra alcohol and the drier finish has fooled you, so maybe up in the mash temps a little bit might help so uh, yeah anyway it's really good I doubt it finished at 1.000 though because that would mean that uh, you must have had a really really low mash and I can't see that being the case you can't have been that far out your hydrometer must have been way out thermometer even mmm anyway 
So what we're going to do is fry off this salt and at the same time we'll weigh out our other ingredients. So we need, who put salt in the sugar bowl? <laughs> Three spoons of sugar, which we've got there. Three spoons of monosodium glutamate. Need to buy some more of this. There we go. And then I think three spoons of salt and pepper mix. Let me just double check. I've got it written down here. You've got to have all this stuff written down. Otherwise, well, tablespoon, tablespoon, teaspoon. Three teaspoons of fire spice powder. Don't let your salt burn. Bit of smoke rising off that now. Right then, so let's see if we can do this properly. There's one, there's two, two and a half, three. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is continue cooking this salt and then we're going to let the salt cool down before we mix in the other ingredients because if we don't then you could melt the sugar which is something that we don't want to do. But this takes a while but you can see when it's getting there because it starts to really loosen up and become very powdery. Anyway folks. It's as simple as that. I'm going to come back when this is finished roasting and uh, cooled down, but I don't want to keep you too long on a beer review or on, indeed, a quick, simple bit of Chinese cuisine prep. So uh, we'll see you on the next video where we're going to make some salt and pepper prawns and we're going to get stuck into a homebrew sent to me by Mark from Ireland. So it is, so it was. And the last beer I had from him was a neck oil clone. And it was that good, I decided to make my own version, of course with different hops. And that is now one of the best selling beers in the pub, called Proof of Concept. It's fantastic. So I'll just come back when we've browned this salt and let it cool, and I'll show you the mixing process. Right, we're back. So this process takes about 10 minutes, believe it or not. So this has been frying for quite a while, dry frying. But you know it's getting close and it starts to make this noise. So if I just bring the camera in, it's quiet for a second. So I know you can hear the gas, but can you hear that popping and cackling? Well that is the salt, believe it or not. So that's, this is the stage where I think it's ready. So what I tend to do to cool it down as quick as possible is kill the heat. Then I've got this big non-stick aluminium pan, which is a good heat sink, better than stainless, uh, better than steel. So we'll take it from the wok and we'll pop it into this pan and just to show you excuse the mucky dishes but just to show you how hot this pan actually is and I'm not kidding you watch this yeah so we're not messing around with that. That is a super hot pot. And the salt is gonna be that hot as well. So do not be tempted to stick your hand in there. You will get burned. So we're gonna let this cool down now. And then when it's cooled down, I'm simply gonna tip it into this pot where I've put the rest of the ingredients. And, then, and to mix it up, we'll just put the lid on, shake it. And then it's going to be ready to use. So 
You'll see that on the salt and pepper prawns video in action, folks. I'm not going to let you wait for this to cool down. It's see, I'm just letting it cool down and then pouring it into a pot. It's easy. You don't need to see it on a video. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, which actually is probably going to be the King Prawn video. Cheers.